Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 210. Now in this uh, release cycle we've done absolutely tons of work on the technology and some of the um, uh, internal details. If you want to find out all about that, do take a look through the release notes. Today I'm just going to go through some of the more user visible changes inside the editor itself. So first up, uh, we have a new template um, for a snake game. I'm sure everyone's familiar with this kind of game, uh, the classic uh, style, and it's also got some touch controls which you can try out there. So go take a look at that if you want to see how to make that kind of game. Um, next up, uh, we've now got support for wake lock on Android, and let me show you a demo of this. Uh, this is the infinite jumping template and on the, I'm on a desktop PC so I'm controlling it with the arrow keys here but on mobile you can control it just by tilting the device and because you don't need to touch the screen to control the game the screen can turn off which isn't very helpful if you're um, if you're doing well and you're getting a high score so a wake lock is a way to solve that by keeping the screen on indefinitely until you release the wake lock um, this feature is part of the platform info object and you can see here on the start screen it requests a wake lock uh, to keep the screen on whilst you play the game. Um, and note that you have to do that, like many sensitive features, you have to do that in a user input trigger. Okay, moving on, um, in the tile background object we have some new settings for the wrap mode. So normally you can see here the image uh, repeats and you can now use uh, mirrored repeat modes which will alternately mirror the image. So you can see uh, every rose um, mirrored and uh, every other pig horizontally is also mirrored the other way as well. Um, so that's an interesting new kind of art style you can use in your uh, tile background objects. There's also this um, new option clamp to edge which basically means the last row of pixels are repeated all the way down. This might seem like an odd setting to have but I'll show you why it's useful here. So over here I've got a tiled background object which I only want to repeat vertically but you can see the uh, the edges look slightly um, uh, slightly messy and the reason for that is because it's actually wrapping horizontally. Some of the red is coming through on the green bit and some of the green is coming through on the red bit. And if I resize it bigger, you can see how where that's coming from. That's the horizontal wrapping of the tiled background. So now if I change the horizontal wrapping to clamp to edge, this turns off the uh, horizontal wrapping and we get nice clean edges here. And if I extend it, you can see that it's not wrapping horizontally. So that's why you might want to use that setting. Uh, it, it means you can tile an image vertically only or horizontally only and not get any unintended effects from wrapping the other way. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to cover in this video is uh, just to point out, um, this was added in a previous release that you can now um, set a uh, splash image by adding an image to the icons folder and changing its purpose to splash. Um, these previously did not show on Android and they'll now show on Android um, and if you don't set one it Construct will automatically create a splash screen for you and the splash screen will be shown until your custom loading screen or the first layout uh, is uh, displayed. So if you do an, if you Android publish to Android and you uh, see a new splash screen and you want to customize that, uh, that's how you go about doing that. Uh, that's all I'm going to cover in this video for now. As I mentioned, take a look through the um, all the release notes for the full changes, and we hope you enjoy this release.